Well, if it isn't the caped crusader himself. What's a bat like you doing in a place like this? Hello, and welcome to my Julie Newmar Catwoman makeup tutorial. Why Julie Newmar? It's all in the brows. Would you say my brows are on flea? Cat joke. All the products I use in this tutorial are in the description, so let's get on with the show. Start by applying full coverage foundation all over the face. Start filling in your brows quite close to your nose with a dark eyeshadow. With the same color you used to fill in your brows, take a small makeup brush and draw little hairs coming up from your eyebrows. Curl them like fur. This is how Julie Newmar's Catwoman eyebrows took shape. With a light cream eyeshadow, Apply it on the brow bone to help accentuate it and fully define that brow. Using a dark gray shadow and a very fine brush, start to draw the wing extending out from the outer corner of your eyelid to the end of your eyebrow. Using that line you made as a guide, take a lighter gray shadow and a fluffy brush and fill in your entire lid and just into your crease. Using the dark gray shadow, deepen and intensify the wing, then blend it into the light gray shadow. Using the makeup that's left on that fluffy brush, squeeze the brush so it's a little flatter. Use that to smudge the makeup into your lower lash line. With a smaller, more defined brush, take black eyeshadow to line the bottom of your wing, then drag it as liner above your upper lash line. With a fine eye brush, Take the black shadow to line the very inner corner of your eyes. With the smaller defined brush, take blue shadow this time and run it along your lower lash line. With a soft but defined brush, Line your waterline with white shadow or liner. Next up, black mascara. If you're only wearing mascara and not fake lashes, make sure you draw the outside of your eyelashes out instead of up to create a more cat eye effect. Julie Newmar did not have a lot of blush on when she played Catwoman, but her cheekbones were very defined. So take a peachy natural color and a fluffy brush and go ahead and line just in the crease under your cheekbones.
For lips, keep the color nude. The emphasis on this look is the eyes. If you have a defined cupid's bow, run the lip color in between and up further than you normally would. This will help minimize that cupid's bow and look a little bit more like Julie Newmar's lips. I didn't want a lot of shine with this look, but I didn't want them totally matte either. So I used a mattifying gloss, then followed up in the center of my lip on the bottom with a pearl gloss. That added a little pucker to the center. Time for the cat ears. Thank you for watching this Julie Newmark Catwoman makeup tutorial. If you liked this video, share it with your friends. If you didn't like it, share it with your enemies. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell me who is your favorite Catwoman. Let me know in the comments below. Go out and get your own free fleek eyebrows. And don't forget to own your awesome. I adore campy, nerdy, geeky things like television that has men wearing tights. No shame. I don't judge.